Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Wednesday, August the 12th, and I wanted to share some very good news with you. For all of those of you who prayed for Pastor Dave, he is pulling through. Um, he has had the, uh, what do you call it, the, um, the thing that goes down your mouth into your lungs, um, trach. Trachea. Oh, oh gosh, Lord, I'm so tired. Um, intubation. They put a hole in his throat and they put it in there so he wouldn't have to be sedated to keep from fighting it. Now he can talk. They also took the feeding tube out of his nose and put it into a little hole uh, into his stomach which all can be reversed and those little holes can be sewed up and he'll just have little scars you've seen people probably that have had a little scar right here because they had one of those done anyway i'm gonna play him talking to you but you gotta listen very carefully because he can it's very soft okay i'm just gonna let you hear him for a minute all right let me back it up to the beginning all right Here's Pastor Dave. And the noises are the ventilator is still doing its thing. It's just not doing it down his mouth. So it, there's noise from the machinery in his room. Good afternoon. YouTube. It won't be long. Good afternoon, YouTube. It won't be long. I'll leave my uh, old song again. I look on like a mess. I look like a guy stranded out on a, a desert island. I need a haircut, shave. But let me tell you something. God is good. Amen. He says, let me tell you something. God is good. In case you're not, I couldn't even catch the part but that I didn't say anything. God is real. God is real. He's been there every step of the way. He's been here every step of the way. With me. With me. No matter what you face. No matter what you're going through. No matter what you face. No matter what you're going through. You're never alone. You're never alone. You're never alone. Never alone. There's power. There's power. Yes, his power. I think. Let me back that up a second. His power. I mean power like you've never known. I mean power like you've never known. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All right, I'll leave it go with that. Because I I doubt that you're hearing him. And you you if you put this on, you might be. But if you play this on your own device you can he hear most of what he's saying he's just uh, not being able to put it out very loudly obviously with that thing in his lungs it's got to be affecting him but anyway i thought this was excellent news this was put out august 11th today is the 12th like i said and i think i said that <laughs> anyway i wanted to share this with you because it is such a miracle really for him to pull through all the things he, we've been praying for. What the first thing, uh, what was the first thing? Well, uh, oh, the colon cancer. They got the tumor and it was all in the tumor. And they said he shouldn't need any chemotherapy or radiation. Miracle one. But the sutures leaked and he got some bowel in his innards where you don't want it. <laughs> so that gave him sepsis. That's very deadly. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know the statistics. It's probably better now than it used to be. But that got cleared up. Miracle number two. And then, now look. He was on the ventilator feeding tube and they've moved up they've been able to move those because he was improving 
because you have to be put to sleep to have those little uh, the os their ostomies in a way they're um, it's a type of ostomy it's a hole into an organ so you they I don't know if they can do that under a local maybe maybe they could just give him some sedation and a local maybe they could do it that way but anyway he's talking and he actually does a four minute sermon on the next video the same day so if you want to go to his channel it'll be in the description box it's Pastor Dave's channel, The Coming Harpazzo. All those words. Pastor Dave's channel, The Coming Harpazzo. Okay. With that, I'll say, um, let us continue to pray for him if you think about it. And his continued healing so that he can... Keep on, maybe he'll be doing his last preaching from that bed until Jesus comes. But, um, I mean that, I would just think that a man like him, he, I don't agree with all of his teachings, but he truly loves the Lord. He truly serves and obeys the Lord. And that's what counts. We may not always get the Bible teaching right, even though we ask the Holy Spirit to help. And, you know, you stay in the Word and you hope you get it right. You should, you know, pray for the Holy Spirit to help you learn. And I don't always remember to do that, but I try to. So I hope that you will also, before you open your word, you pray for the Holy Spirit to give you understanding and wisdom. And anyway, with that, I'll say bye for now. I will plead the blood of Jesus over this video, myself, my computer, and my internet connection, and over each and every one of you, and all of your devices. Okay, and your internet connections. With that, I'll say bye for now. Talk to you later.